A Troy woman becomes the victim of a dating disaster. Now, she thought she was just helping out a man she'd met online, but she swindled out of more than $700,000. Police say even they were surprised at how long this went on. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash standing by live with a story all new at 6. Anu? Well, Stephen, investigators here at Troy Police Department tell us that that woman had been wiring money to that man for more than a year, and it was only after her bank told her that she was getting swindled that she came here to the police department to file a report. Talk about an expensive lesson. Police say a 58 year old Troy woman is out almost three quarters of a million dollars, all because she thought she was helping a man she'd met on Match.com with his financial troubles. She knew him as Donnie and never met him in person. Yet he'd managed to convince her to wire him the money over the course of a year. Everything you can think of different situations, uh, different stuff out of work, then back to work, and then need money to help him keep working, and claimed he worked on an oil rig out, off, outside of London. The woman says she was recently contacted by Interpol informing her that Donnie had been arrested at the airport with a large amount of money that he didn't pay taxes on and that she needed to wire him money for his bail and back taxes. Police suspect that was just the next part of the scam. It's amazing to me how many people can be easily convinced to give away their money. Let's put it that way. You need to be a little more cautious with that, especially when you're dealing with people you meet on the computer. It was only after the woman's bank told her that she was being swindled that she came to the Troy Police Department to file a report last Sunday. She claims that since February of 2016, she has wired about $703,000 to Donnie, money that police suspect she'll never get back. There really is no crime. Um, if you talk to somebody and convince them to give you money, and that, that's uh, your fault, not, not necessarily a law violation. But I'm like, keep your money to yourself. I mean, if you have to help people, there are better ways to do it. Yeah, and as you heard, Captain Redmond there say there's really no crime here, so there's not much police can do. So certainly a very costly lesson for that 58-year-old woman here in Troy and a big reminder for everyone how careful you have to be. Reporting live in Troy, Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. So right about that, Anu, 700000 a lot of money she's out. Thank you much. Mm.